picture of my children, Tate, Knox, and Brady. They live with us. And this is a picture of Nash. He lives in heaven. This picture was taken when Nash was about eight weeks old. Little did we know that only three months later, he'd be gone, taken to heaven much, much too soon. We found out that Nash had an undiagnosed heart defect. One day he was a happy, healthy baby, and the next day he was just gone. As parents, my husband's and my grief began immediately the moment Nash died. But at the time, our oldest son, Tate, was about to turn two, and I remember thinking, how do I explain this to him? He didn't understand at all what had happened. He just knew that his little brother was gone. As intense and painful as our own grief was, I knew that Tate's was only going to grow as he did, and it has. He's now seven years old, and he asks many more questions now than he did when he was younger. We've since had two other children, Knox, who's about to turn four, and Brady, who's two. And I know that as they grow, they'll ask more questions as well. So this is how my book, Home Runs in Heaven, began. I needed a way to help my children understand where their brother was in the best kid terms possible. So that's what I did. Home Runs in Heaven is the story of a little boy named Tyler Nash who asks his mother about heaven. It attempts to portray the perfection and beauty of the most wonderful place imaginable using comparisons that kids will identify with. My hope is that my book will provide comfort to any child who's dealing with the loss of a loved one like my own children have had to do. Death is something that even as parents and adults we don't fully understand, so trying to explain that to kids is really difficult. I pray that by reading Home Runs in Heaven, children will comprehend that when someone dies, the most perfect place is waiting for them. If after reading Home Runs in Heaven, children realize their loved ones are safe and happy, then I think I will have accomplished what I set out to. Thank you in advance for your support, love, and encouragement. God bless you all.